hey how are you welcome to this video so in the previous videos i was talking about how to set up your open 5gs and ue ran sim in a single virtual machine now moving forward we have to spin up multiple virtual machines so that we can have open 5gs in one of the virtual machine and ue ran sim in the second virtual machine later on we are going to split the functions of open 5gs into different virtual machine making essentially them as a virtualized network functions. So we are going to use a tool called Vagrant, which helps you to spin up the virtual machines. And that you can do using a simple Vagrant file. Now how to install Vagrant and a brief introduction of Vagrant. I've already created a video on that and I've provided a link in the description box. You can go through that as well and you can start following along. So I've created a directory called open 5 js Vagrant into my Git repository. And what I will do is open this into my code editor. So I'm inside my code editor and I've created a new directory called open 5 js Vagrant, which I will use to write my Vagrant file into. So it's as simple as that. So if I just open a new terminal and inside this directory open 5 js Vagrant, Okay, just do a vagrant in it and as soon as i do a vagrant in it it will create a vagrant file which provides the very basic instructions how to spin up a vagrant file so vagrant file is written in ruby so, so if you see here it is using the version 2 of vagrant so if i just give you The version that I'm using is 2.3.4, which can be used to write your Vagrant file. So the API version is, API version is 2. And we are going to have a namespace called config, which we are going to use for definition of our virtual machine. Now in Vagrant, uh, virtual machine image is called a box so we are going to use a box and if i just do ctrl z and you can find this url which you can open to look for the vagrant boxes and i'm going to use ubuntu focal 64 which is based on 20.04 of ubuntu as my base virtual machine image or the virtual machine box now there are certain more configuration that you can do it is config.vm hostname and we'll just write 5g core virtual machine I will set up a private network and whatever virtual machine that I spin up for this exercise, I will attach it to that private network and you can easily do so by defining a network and I can specify the IP. I can also sync a folder. So a folder in this directory data. So if I just do MKDIR data here would be synced to this directory home vibrant data. So these are some of the configuration that I have that I can do for the virtual machine. Now let's come to this part, which is config VM provider virtual box. So, so this actually means that we are going to use the provider virtual box. We can use VMware as well as our provider. And what are the options related to this virtual box that we are going to use? So we can customize the memory and we can customize the number of CPUs. So I can just write CPUs equal to 2 and I can increase the memory to 2048 so that is the only configuration that you require for our virtual machine now we need to provision the virtual machine so that we have the open 5 years installed here and I will be using an inline script so you can see here this is our inline script config.vm.provision and I'm using shell to provision my virtual machine 
with an inline method and then the whatever is inside the keyword shell would be used to provision the virtual machine. So this is based on my single VM documentation. However, I'm only going to install open 5GS in this virtual machine. And in next video, I will show you how to configure UV Ransom as your Vagrant machine. So let's get started. I will be using the same steps. So this I will be uploading to the Git repository, providing these steps and this Vagrant file for you to spin up. You can just download this Vagrant file and run it and you will have your open 5GS. You can just do I will just do a vagrant up and it will download the base machine. It will boot the virtual machine here and let me show you. All right, so we have the open 5GS vagrant default and you can see the machine is booting here. Setting the key, setting the host name and configuring and enabling the interfaces. It has mount the folder here and now it will run the inline script. So it is trying to configure what I had instructed in the inline script. So it will take some time. I will just skip the installation part and I will just log in and show you the installation. So just to give you a heads up, you know, you just need to download this Vagrant file and it should be placed in a directory and you can run it. All right, so the open 5JS has been installed and there is a very easy way to check it you can just do a vagrant ssh and i would be inside my virtual machine and i can just check check sudo service open 5gs dot star status and you can see all the services are up and running so in this way you can configure any virtual machine using vagrant and I specifically have configured open 5GS now. In the next video, I will configure UE Ransom so that we can start working in a multi virtual machine setup with easy installation of these virtual machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in case you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.